Jesse Marks, originally from Jacksonville, Florida, spent summers during his youth volunteering in Jordan. During his experience, he developed an interest in Middle Eastern culture and language. Marx's intelligence, passion, and drive were well recognized during his time at FSU. While enrolled, he was a member of the Seminole Torchbearers, an organization comprised of Florida State University students and alumni who exemplify the university's legacy of leadership. He was also elected as a part of the 2014 FSU Homecoming Court. Marx worked closely weekly to support the International Coffee Hour at the Center for Global Engagement and advocated for greater support and awareness from SGA for the international student community at FSU. He also volunteered to support international students at the Center for Intensive English. His public speaking abilities soared during his undergraduate studies. In 2014, Marx presented his research on the Syrian refugee crisis at Research Remix, an event during which two selected undergraduate students speak and present their research in front of the general public. Marx received many awards from the university, including a Student Life Senator Award from SGA in 2014, as well as induction into the Garnet and Gold Key Society. In 2015, Marx received the Boren Scholarship to Jordan to pursue a year of intensive Arabic while working for the United Nations Refugee Agency and the Jordan Center for Strategic Studies. Marx graduated from Florida State University in 2016 with a bachelor's in Middle East Studies and Arabic from the College of Arts and Sciences. He went on to attend and graduate from the University of Cambridge's Fitzwilliam College with a master's in international relations and politics. In 2017, Marx was named a Fulbright Scholar, a competitively selected program that supports students in their quest to study, conduct research, teach, or exercise their talents abroad. Marx took his talent to the University of Jordan, working as a research fellow with the Jordan Center for Strategic Studies and Refugees International. In the same year, Marx joined the Stimson Center's Protecting Civilians in Conflict program as a Herbert Scoville Jr. Peace Fellow, where his work focused on building durable solutions to alleviate humanitarian suffering in Syria. Marx continued to use his voice to spread awareness regarding various crises in the Middle East through invitations to speak on a variety of platforms. In 2019, Marx gave a talk at Tsinghua University's Schwarzman College in Beijing, China. He was awarded the prestigious Schwarzman Scholarship and is the first from FSU to accomplish such a task. Additionally, Marx undertook a second graduate degree in Beijing, China, studying China's foreign policy in the Middle East. After relocating from China due to the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020, Marx has returned to the United States and joined the Department of Defense as an inaugural John McCain Strategic Defense Fellow. For his professional accomplishments and continued service to his community, the Alumni Association is proud to present Jesse Marks with a 2021 Ruben Odiaskew Young Alumni Award. Thank you everyone for coming tonight. Uh, it is an honor to be back in Florida, to come home. Um, I've spent the last five years traveling across the world, Europe, China, and the Middle East. Um, one commonality that bound all those experiences, weirdly enough, is that someone in each of those places could articulate to me what the Florida man was. And it, for those of you who don't know, I encourage you to go home and Google it. Um, it is an honor and privilege to be here tonight in the presence, Mr. President, Ms. First Lady, <clears throat> Mr. Askew. It is a pleasure to be here with you all, to all the alumni, to all the award winners, to my family. And for me, one of the biggest honors is to be here with my sister on stage. We came into FSU, uh, overlapped briefly, and have continued to be with each other across the world and have seen each other during our times in the Middle East. Um, it's really, words cannot express the love and adoration and respect that I have for you and for my parents who are both here. Um, who I am today and the opportunities that I have been afforded are the results of hundreds of hours that have been put in an investment for my FSU family. That includes not just my friends and my colleagues, but people who are here tonight, including Dr. Peter Gerritsen, who ran the Middle East Center, um, Dr. Zainish Slinoff, who runs the Arabic Study Center, Dr. Craig Filar and his team over at the Honor Scholars and Fellows House, um, and finally, um, uh, yeah, Honor Scholars and Fellows House and the Student Government uh, Association, where I spent many long hours. I entered FSU in spring of 2013 as a transfer student. Um, having only two years here impressed on me the value of using my time wisely and strategically. I look back fondly on many of the late night student government and student senate sessions where we would be arguing about policy late into the nights, the hundreds of hours of my nose stuck into an Arabic textbook. If you've never done that or woken up to an Arabic textbook, it's not great. 
Um, you know, the many weeknights spending with English students over at the Center for Intensive English, if you all are not familiar with their work here in uh, FSU, I encourage you to go reach out. There's it's really an incredible program doing a lot of great work for international students. Um, and finally, you know, having the chance to be on the homecoming court. I mean, how many times do you get to walk across the field hearing the war chant? It's truly exhilarating. Um, it is a wonder to me at the end of those two years how I ever slept. Um, but I am grateful for all of the opportunities. Those experiences shaped me and have allowed me to pursue the passions that I have had. My family and community here at FSU have taught me the value of leadership, diversity, loyalty, and love. These things sustained me as I transferred from my community college to Florida State, and the many fellowship essays for Fulbright, for Schwartzman, um, all the way up until now where I'm briefing senior defense leaders on issues in the Middle East. As a rising leader in my field, my day-to-day -day objective is to reach back to those communities, of which FSU has been one of the leaders in reaching out to transfer students, first-generation college students, and community college students, and showing them how this university and this community can help propel them in their careers into the heights, into their dreams. So I encourage you all, my um, fellow awardees, alumni here tonight, if you know anyone who's a community college student, if you know anyone who's a first-generation college student, reach out, they're going to do amazing things. If I'm evidence of that in any of the community that are around, um, I highly encourage you to do that. Um, thank you again for this honor tonight. It is a pleasure to be here. Um, and as always, go Knowles.